Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and uh, tonight we're going to offer some chit chat about uh, a website I'm recommending that you watch if you want to learn about being a YouTube creator. Number two, well, we're going to learn a little bit of a follow up about the uh, D Way rugged case, which I've had to remove from the back of the uh, uh, me A2 just to cram it into the MPAL tripod. That's just how it works, folks. So, yeah, cases and tripod grips don't always work together. And uh, we're going to talk about the Me A2 itself. We got a security update. So let's do the intro and we'll be back. All right, folks, I'm back. First thing I had to do was offer a shout out to geekoutdoors.com. He has uh, hooked me up. He actually mentioned me in a video he did. And you'll notice he's now on my list over here. Of you know, people I subscribe to. At least uh, under high end cheap tech. Not going to show up on this list. This is all just tech reviewers. But he offers a ton of tutorials. I learned everything about OpenShot and editing on it from this guy. Uh, I love to learn Caden Live because he's got a lot of videos on that coming out now. Uh, I just. I've had trouble getting Linux to work, the newer versions, at least Linux Mint. Maybe I can find a different distribution that will work for me. Uh, but right now, that is neither here nor there. Check his channel out. Watch it. It will be linked in the description below. Please read that. And uh, let's move on to the next segment. Hey, right, folks. So, first things first, the D way. As you can see, it's a it's actually a two piece case. I didn't show you that during the unboxing, but you can see how much uh, extra thickness and bumpers you get around the edges on the TPU section and the depth of the case is definitely uh, worth it and uh, of course you got the hard back and I am seriously loving the kickstand I use it at work I'll set the phone off to the side I watch YouTube videos as they're posted so I can kind of keep up with all the reviewers I trust. So I don't have to watch them when I get home. I didn't do that today, so the first hour I spent watching reviewers I trust because I can't keep trusting them unless I watch all their videos. And uh, last but not least, the Mi A2 got the September 5th security update. I'll show you a picture when I can figure out how to post the screenshot to it. But to September 5th, uh, that's the latest Android security update. And this phone continues to be my daily driver. It works well. And a little note here. When I get home, uh, I have to remember, um, reach for something here. 
Do I need to charge these? Do I use them at work? My Ampel headphones. Uh, uh, do I need to? When was the last time I charged the ones angle free? And uh, last three, four days. Uh, do I need to charge one of my other cell phones? Because normally my tablet is over at the other outlet using up all the juice getting it's 11,600 milliamp power battery for recharged uh this one device that i just walk in and because it has the magic tag sticking into the usb outlet i throw it on the wireless charger like yeah whatever clock Yesterday I came home with like 56%. Okay, I shot some videos at work. And, uh, processed them in Power Director on the A2. Took a bunch of pictures, posted them up from the Mi A2. I just have to remember when I'm all done with that to get rid of that once they're on YouTube. Because it does have limited storage. Yeah, but for the price, check the link below, it's pretty darn cheap. And yeah, you can get the Mi A3 if you can tolerate the notch. You do get expanded storage via micro SD that you don't get on this phone you have to watch your storage usage not that difficult I got right now it says 20.2 gig in the corner uh and uh it, if you can tolerate the fact they've reduced the screen resolution down to 720, this one has 1080. Pretty good looking screen. Not as bright as the Mi A3, but they're both Android ones. I haven't got Android 10 yet, but I did get the security update to September 5th. And, uh, it's nice to be up to date. So uh, on that note, like this video, subscribe to our channel, check out that Geek Outdoors uh, channel. You'll like it. Uh, uh, he's also an outdoors guy. He exercises and all that stuff. He's very well rounded but he's got a lot of stuff on linux now uh, open shot gave him live and linux in general i will catch you in the next video tomorrow night still looking for suggestions for something cheap to order so i have something to review this weekend that's all i have thanks for watching